High yield step one image, what is it? So we're actually looking at cystic fibrosis leading to bronchiectasis. So we see irreversible dilated bronchi, and this is gonna be caused by cystic fibrosis. So that leads to thick mucus, chronic infections, and progressive lung destruction. So you see dilated airways, the tram track sign, signet ring sign, and you have the lack of the tapering bronchi toward the periphery. You have the thickened bronchial walls and mucus plugging. On histology, you see chronic inflammation, destruction of smooth muscles, permanent dilation of the bronchi. So there's the CFTR gene mutation on chromosome 7. So it's the delta F508. That's the most common variant anyways. Then you have impaired chloride and water transport. So you have thick secretions. You get obstructed airways, recurrent infections like pseudomonas. Think you got it? Here's a practice question. 12-year-old cystic fibrosis, chronic, chronic cough, production of thick sputum, dilated airways, failing to taper. What's the explanation? Bronchiectasis. Atelectasis, that's collapse. Very important. MBME 26, I believe, tests you on this. Collapse, no dilation, no tram tracking. Interstitial fibrosis from repeated infections. That's a restricted pattern, not dilation. Pulmonary embolism due to infarction. Pulmonary embolism due to infarction would have like wedge-shaped infarcts. There would be no dilation. Bronchial hyperactivity due to asthma, smooth muscle hypertrophy. You'd have like reversible narrowing. If you found this helpful, if you like what we're doing here, like and subscribe for more content.